I was seven when the Lord first started working in me. He, I was tossing and turning in my bed, thinking of all the bad things I've done in my past. I imagined all my sin written down on a big white wall. I was thinking that I couldn't change that I did those things, that I couldn't change that I've lied, disobeyed, or hurt any of my siblings. But I, can't, but I can stop doing them, I thought. But night after night, I went to bed disappointed. I couldn't stop, I thought. I either forgot to stop or was angry and didn't stop. A couple years later, I was talking to my sister Logan about this subject. She told me that when I, when I sinned, I sinned against God. So I asked her, can I just say I'm sorry? And she told me, yes, but, oh, yes, but only Jesus can take away your sin. It, it, is, it is washed away when you are baptized. I thought on this subject that night, and I thought every time, every time I did something bad, I sinned against God, and he wasn't going to forgive me until I was baptized. Then I thought, when I, well, I have to get baptized so Jesus can wash away my sins. The, ne the next day was Sunday. The afternoon after church, I asked Mom, Sister Nikki, in a note, can I be baptized? So she wrote, so she wrote out different questions for me to answer concerning baptism. I answered them on paper and she read them. That afternoon she took them to dad, brother Jeremy, and she took and she took me into and he took me into our classroom to talk to me. He told me that this was a real thing and should not be taken lightly. But still the more he had told me how serious it was, the more I wanted it. I thought, this is a real thing. The Lord is really going to forgive me, the Lord, and I will really be clean from my sin. The, that evening, I was baptized, and when I rose from the water, I remembered the white wall I had imagined two years ago. I saw my sins written, I saw my sins written out, but this time I saw them dis disappearing and the wall turning white. Two years later, at 11 years old, I was... I was, it was during the end of the school year, and since uh, I was a bit lazy during school, I had fallen behind. That day I was praying. The Lord, the Lord at that time was teaching me how to, was teaching me how to pray. Yes, I believe that there was a God and that he hears the prayers of the saints, but he, I was learning how to experience that, to really know that you are, that you're not pleading into air, that there is really a God hearing your prayers. I was praying about my situation concerning school. I prayed, Lord, I am sorry for letting it get behind like this, but Lord, I can't change how much school has built up. Please take this load away and I'll be a better steward of my time. It was now a few weeks before, su before summer, and we were almost done with school. It was Sunday, May 22nd, 2011. Dad was taking a nap, and it was a normal day. Then I, then I heard tornado sirens. I didn't think anything of it. It was probably just another test, I thought. But, but then I heard the news come on. We, we, checked, we, we checked the news and they said that bad weather was coming our way. That was all we could get from the TV though since our signal started getting bad. So mom went upstairs while I, turned, while I turned off the TV and dad came downstairs with the radio and opened the blinds to see the sky quickly turning black. We heard, we heard the radio say that there was a tornado down at Shefferdecker. The power then um, began to flicker, not allowing the radio to spit out much more. Then mom tells the kids to get into the bathroom and dad went upstairs to get his phone and wallet. By the time dad got downstairs, the house began to rubble, rumble and he came into the bathroom with the rest of the family. Mom picked up and mom picked up Journey. Dad had barely got out the words, dear heavenly father, when all the windows began to shatter around us. Then I heard a very loud boom guessing that that was the so sound of the house br being broken up from the founda foundation. The whole house began to slide. Then I remembered there, there is one overall who can hear my prayers. I don't have to plead hopelessly into the air. There is one who will hear. And I pray then I prayed, 
Dear Lord, it is me whom you have drawn close to you. Save us, dear Lord. I, I, I prayed as the noise got louder, and the walls, the walls cl closing in tighter and tighter to where I thought it was going to do so until it would um, crush us. Still, I cried out louder. Pipes were spraying cold water that would swirl around us. Still, I cried out, Dear Lord, please, please save us. We were all crying out to the Lord. Then slowly the winds calmed down, the noise settled, and, but our prayers did not. We, we then let out thanks for, to God for saving us, and the Lord delivered us from that situation. The, ne the next school year, we start, uh, it was now the next school, y school year, and, we, and we, when we started, okay. It was now the next school year, but I wasn't doing so well again. I was getting behind and I, pray, and I prayed, Dear Lord, I want to please you. My parents love you and do everything as unto you. If you will help me please them, I know this will please you. I prayed this for several nights until one day, Mom went to go, until one day, Mom went to go grocery shopping and I prayed, Dear Lord, help me to do well when she is gone. Help me to bless her because this blesses you. So I got busy and did my work as unto the Lord. Then when mom got home, I gave my report on what I did. She told me, good job, Sydney. Even though this sounds small, it was a very big deal to me at the time. So I continued to do my work as unto the Lord, knowing that he was blessing me in it. After a while, I wanted to bless, the, bless him. He had done so much for me and continues to daily. Then I thought, Reading my Bible will bless him, so I put my time aside in reading my Bible. Soon I had read Matthew 25, 30, 34 through 40. Then shall the king say unto them unto his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was, in hung for I was hungered, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I, naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was, a pri uh, I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous say unto him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we a stranger, and took thee in, naked, and clothed thee? Or saw ye sick, and, and, and in prison, and did, not come, and, and did come to thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Insomuch as ye have done to the least of my brethren, you have done it unto me. I notice that when you bless God's people, Christ is, ble it, Christ is blessed. So I continue to do what I can to bless the brethren. I pray that God will enable me to bless the brethren, for this blesses God. <laughs> 